Hey, what is up guys? My name is RootKids. Today I'm going to teach you guys how we can go ahead and set up a sandbox lab to analyze malware and other programs. So for this, we're going to be using Oracle VM VirtualBox. It's a great hypervisor. I really like it. If you don't already have it installed, you can download it from the official website. All websites I'm going to be using in here, I'll put in my description. I've had a great experience with it. I have a lot of virtual machines on here. For this specific tutorial, though, we're just going to be setting up a Windows 10 virtual machine to run the malware on since most malware is targeted towards Windows and a Remnex Linux distro virtual machine that's going to be used for analyzing malware. If you don't already know, Remnex is a Linux distro made specifically for analyzing malware. It has a bunch of tools that will help us with that. So first things first, we're going to have to go ahead and download the Windows 10 ISO file. If you're on Windows and you go to this website, this is what you're going to see. You're going to have to download this installation media and there's a little article here on how you can get the Windows 10 ISO file. However, I'm on Linux, and if you're on Linux 2 doing this, we're going to see something a bit different here. So it's going to be a bit easier, if you will, this website for us. All we have to do here is just select Windows 10, as well as our language here, and it will actually give us a download link. So you can choose either to download 32-bit one or 64-bit one. My malware lab is a Windows 10 64-bit ISO, so that's the one that I use. I already have this downloaded, so I'm not going to, but if you don't, then you're going to have to download this, obviously. Next, we want to go ahead and download the Remnex image file. The Remnex file isn't actually an ISO file, it's an OVA file, which basically means it's going to be easier to import, so it'll save us some time. So all we have to do is just go to the download button, and then we're going to download the Ubuntu 20.04 OVA file. And here's the download link. It's a 4.7 gigabytes, so it might take a while. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to, but you should obviously download that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to have to create and configure our Windows 10 virtual machine. So we're going to go to VirtualBox, and we're going to hit New Virtual Machine. Here, you can name it anything you want. For this, I'm going to name it just Malware Test, and make sure the version is set to Windows 10, and then whichever if you download the 32-bit one, then set it to that. If you download the 64-bit one, set it to that. I'm going to use a 64-bit one. All right, so next, the actual configuration is pretty important. So most modern malware now has anti-analysis features built into it, which basically checks to see if it's being run inside a virtual environment or not. So it will check to see if it has access to the internet, it will check to see how much RAM the computer has. So if it has like one gigabyte of RAM or two gigabytes, it, it, it might not run, or at least modern malware won't, since it will kind of know that that's really low and it'll detect that it's being run inside a virtual environment. So for this, I'd recommend something above four. I'm going to give it eight gigabytes. And then once you actually allocate the RAM, you actually have to allocate the disk size. So again, the disk, dot, the disk size has to be I'd say above 100 gigabytes. Again, you don't have to actually make the disk size or RAM that high. If you have a, I guess, low tier computer, you don't have to set them that high. But just keep in mind that new malware or I guess extremely modern malware might not run if it doesn't detect that it's being run inside an actual computer. So basically what we did there is we just went ahead and configured the virtual machine to like an actual computer and not a virtual machine. Next, you just want to give it the Windows 10 ISO file and we can start installing it like a normal Windows 10 computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be back once that installs. So I'm actually a bit too lazy. I didn't wait for the my virtual machine to install. I just reset my snapshot on my malware lab. But anyways, once you install your virtual machine, it will look something like this, except obviously without all these programs onto it. So you actually do want to install some programs because a while ago I was talking about the anti-analysis features that some modern malware have. And some modern malware also check to see if it has any user data or programs installed. If the modern, modern malware detects that it's being run inside a computer that has no programs whatsoever, it might think that it's being run inside a virtual environment and it won't actually run. So you want to make it look like this is not a virtual machine, like it's an actual real computer. So I recommend downloading a couple, I guess, common programs you would have. 
So this is what I have downloaded. You can copy these. One that I would recommend to download would be Procmon. This is actually a process monitor. So what this does is you can actually go ahead and see um, processes and services and requests that are all happening on your machine. You could pr pretty much see everything that's happening to your machine in real time as it's happening and where the requests are being made from, the timestamps. It, it's very useful, especially when it comes to malware analysis. And then, of course, I also have Wireshark, which is a network monitor. And then some user data programs like Notepad and VLC, which they're not going to help with modern uh, malware analysis, but they're going to help with uh, just pretending to be like a real computer, since users will just have this lying around as a normal program. But anyways, once we have these your program set up, next what we're going to do is we want to go ahead and create our Remnex um, machine. So since it's an OVA file, we're going to go ahead and just click import. And then from here, you can just select your actual remnex.ova file, like so. And once you actually do that, it should pretty much detect all the settings for you. So these are pretty good settings, four gigabytes of RAM, two CPUs. It got the guest operating system type correct. You can just click import and it should take a while to import. Okay, so once our Remnex uh, virtual machine is actually imported, we're gonna go ahead, power this on and configure it. Okay, so I'm on Remnex as you guys can see, and there's a couple things we wanna do. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead, open up terminal and we have to actually install the IF up down package. So this package will basically allow us to actually better configure and use our network interfaces because what we have to do right now after that downloads is we actually have to configure our network interfaces. So what we're doing by actually modifying this file right here is we're going to go ahead and create a network that only our Windows virtual machine and Remix is going to be on so they can only communicate to each other and nothing else. So basically what you want to do is you want to go ahead and well we got to create a static interface so you could just copy what I have up here and after that, we actually have to give our Remnex machine an IP address, so I'm just going to give it that. And then we actually also have to configure our subnet mask, like so. And then once you have this code, this is the code that you need to have in your network interfaces file, you want to go ahead and save this. So, like so. All right. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and change our network settings on Oracle VirtualBox. And instead of being attached to the NAT, we want to go ahead and put it on an internal network. And the name of this, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it test. I'm going to name it test one. Um, make sure you remember the name of what you name the internal network. So once you have that on, whatever you named your internal network, you want to go ahead to your Windows virtual machine here. So now the Windows virtual machine that we configured is on the NAT also, but we want to take this off the NAT and actually on the internal network. Before you actually put on the internal network though, make sure you actually installed all the files you wanted, as well as um, loaded the malware onto your Windows virtual machine. After you did that, we can go ahead and safely safely put this on the internal network with the same name as our Remnex machine. So once we have that, we can actually go ahead and double check. So, okay, yeah, they're the exact same. And they have to be the exact same name, so. Right. But that's not it yet. What we have to do is we actually also have to configure the network settings for the 
Windows 10 virtual machine. So that is what we're going to do now. We just got to open this up and go into change adapter options. We're going to go to properties and then we're going to look for IPv4. Right here, go to properties. Okay, so we aren't going to let it get the information automatically. We want to give it our own because basically what we have to do is we have to make the Windows virtual machine think that our Remnix virtual machine is the router so we can actually intercept all the traffic. So we're going to give it a IP address like so and as well as a subnet mask. Whoops. There we go. And the default gateway is going to be our Remnix machine IP as well as the DNS server. So we can intercept the DNS traffic. Then we click OK and we can close out of this. So now on Remix, what we can do is there's actually two um, tools that we're going to use that are going to be very useful to us. So the first one is iNetSim, which actually goes ahead and simulates an internet connection. If you run it and you get this error right here, what you want to do is you basically just want to um, put down the uh, whoops, you have to actually run it with sudo. You basically just want to put down the network interface and then you want to go ahead and bring it back up. And now you can actually go ahead and run inetsim. Uh, this basically just simulates an internet connection. So what I mean by this is on the Windows Virtual Machine, if you go to a website, well, wait, we don't have a DNS server up on here. Another service that we want to use is fake DNS. This will basically just intercept DNS traffic. So, right, this is, okay, this is what should happen. As you can see, in our Windows Virtual Machine, we get this fake internet kind of thing. So, google.com, and we get this fake HTML file right here, as well as we intercept the DNS traffic. So, this is good. That means our airtight network is actually working. From here, if you go ahead and whatever you type in here, we can actually go ahead and see these requests. So when, when we run malware, like a Trojan, we can actually go ahead and see the DNS requests it makes to the malicious website, which is very helpful because the malware will now think that it is connected to the internet, but in reality, it is not. Also, once we actually go ahead and configure this, a very important step we, we have to take right here is we actually have to create snapshots because snapshots are going to be our saviors. <laughs> so for the virtual machine, the Windows one, we should take a snapshot and you can name this whatever you want. And you can just hit OK. As well as for the Remnex virtual machine too. This will basically allow us to um, resort back to these snapshots to the exact state of that machine while we take the snapshot. Which is very helpful and it'll save us a lot of time and effort. So do make sure to take snapshots. All right, so once we have that, I just want to show you guys what it would look like. So this is, all right, this is my malware lab fully set up. Everything's configured. As you can see here, I have my malware loaded on my Windows 10 virtual machine. And what we can do is actually, if we go ahead and run this, on Remnex, we can immediately see a lot of these DNS requests that are just to these really malicious looking websites, as you can see here. So that that's really cool that we can actually see what this malware is doing. And then even on Windows, if we go ahead and open some like process monitor, we can go ahead and look through there to see what else the malware is doing. Just be cautious because some malware might actually prevent process monitor from being ran <laughs> like this one. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial. There's there's definitely a lot of more um, tools on Remnex. If we go ahead and just look real quick. Um, yeah, there's a lot more here. You have Wireshark. Uh, another good one is Gydra. That's if you want to go ahead and break down a... Um, executable file you might you have to load the malware onto actually remnex though can't 
just to analyze something on the Windows virtual machine. But yeah, I mean, Remix is it's an awesome Linux distro to definitely have to analyze Bauer, and it's definitely cool. But that's pretty much the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, let me know what other videos I should make. I'll see you guys later.